Archer Aviation is displaying its midnight electric vertical takeoff and landing flying taxi at the Dubai Air Show this week. Their goal is to transform urban travel, replacing 60 to 90 minute commutes by car with estimated 10 to 20 minute electric air taxi flights. Earlier, Billy Nolan, their chief safety officer, told me about ongoing plans to bring air taxis here to Dubai. Our plan for Dubai is that we think it's a perfect use case. You've got a very forward-thinking global leadership here in Dubai, here in the UAE. It makes perfect sense. I'll give you a good example. So I'm staying in Jamaro as I'm attending the air show. It took me about an hour to get to physically to the air show today. Our midnight aircraft could have done that in about seven and a half to ten minutes. So when we think about midnight here as an aircraft, a pilot plus up to four passengers and their carry-on bags up to 100 miles at 150 miles an hour. We think especially in an urban environment, is this is why we want to bring this to the UAE, specifically here to Dubai. Have plans gone advanced yet enough to, to find out? I mean, you mentioned Jumeirah to, to yes. Dubai World Central. Do you know roughly you know, where this might be used on a regular basis? Would it have a particular start and stop location? Yeah, you, you could think in the, in the initial basis of getting from Dubai International to Jumeirah, getting from Dubai to the Burj Al Arab, getting into the city. You could think in, in, uh, in later stages of getting from Dubai to Abu Dhabi, right? So there's quite a few use cases as you think about that. On average, the typical distance will be between 30 to 40 miles. Uh, and, and that's where it really begins to make sense. And this is about where you see on an Uber basis, right? But now imagine again, as I talked about, something that used to take you an hour that now takes you 10 minutes. How far is the testing process um, at the moment? I mean, will you be testing this, for example, here at the air show this, this year? No, we will not be testing. We are testing. So our, we, our prototype of midnight, that is, we are testing in California at the moment. Uh, by the end of this year, early part of next year, we will have five uh, midnight aircraft that we will be doing what's called four credit flight testing. We are well through our certification pathway with the FAA. Many of those programs I helped set in place when I was the FAA administrator prior to coming to Archer. So we are far along uh, and, and we'll just continue to work toward. So we are expect to receive type certification and entry into service in 2025. Will the air taxi always need a pilot or will eventually the pilots maybe not be needed? I don't think so. I think as we evolve, we think the first iterations of this make sense. It gives the public that sense of trust and you look there and you know that you've got a pilot on board. But in the future, as we evolve the, the autonomous technology, this is one where our partnership with Boeing, who is very steeped in autonomous type technology, we see the industry ultimately evolving to the place where you won't need a pilot and it will be fully autonomous. Are you relying on other third-party kind of service providers to, to make this air taxi happen, or is it very much in-house at Archer? That's a great question. We are working with top-tier suppliers like Garmin for our instrumentation, like Honeywell, like Safran, that are very good at what they do. They understand the certification pathway. They've been in it a long time. And we think having partners like that, we're also partnering with Stellantis, one of the largest manuf auto manufacturers in the world, and with others, right? That helps us in terms of our speed to market. What we wanted to have is to have the kind of partnerships that help us get there and get there quickly.